Yo, what's up everybody, it's Crypto Kryptonite. Crypto, it's been around for a minute, but let's be real, it's still a wild world out there. You hear about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, maybe even tried to trade a little. But have you ever thought about actually it yourself? Like, generating your own crypto? It might sound complicated, but trust me, it's not as difficult as you think. In 2025, mining is more accessible than ever. Whether you're a total beginner or you've dabbled in the crypto space before, this video is your one-stop shop to understanding how to get started with mining. We're talking different mining methods, the gear you need and don't need, the coins worth your time, and yeah, we'll get into the real talk about the challenges too. So if you're ready to demystify crypto mining and potentially start earning, let's dive in. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon. All right, first things first. Let's break down the different ways you can actually mine cryptocurrency. Mining is the process of using computational power to solve complex mathematical problems, which in turn validates transactions on the blockchain and generates new coins. It's a crucial part of how cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum function. We've got three main players, solo mining, pool mining, and cloud mining. Each of these methods has its own set of advantages and challenges, and the right choice for you depends on your resources, technical know-how, and risk tolerance. Solo mining is exactly what it sounds like. You're a lone wolf, using your own hardware to solve complex equations and mine crypto blocks. This method requires a significant investment in mining equipment and electricity, but it also means you keep all the rewards for yourself. Think of it like panning for gold by yourself. You're out there on your own, hoping to strike it rich. The thrill of potentially hitting a big reward is high, but so is the risk. You get all the rewards if you strike it rich, but the odds of finding a whole nugget on your own? Pretty slim. The competition is fierce, and the difficulty of mining increases over time, making it harder for solo miners to succeed without top-notch equipment. That's where pool mining comes in. Pool mining allows you to join forces with other miners, combining your computing power to increase your chances of solving those equations and earning rewards. Imagine joining forces with a bunch of other miners, combining your computing power to increase your chances of solving those equations and earning rewards. This method is more consistent and reliable as the combined power of the pool makes it more likely to find blocks and earn rewards. It's like splitting the gold you find with your mining crew, more consistent payouts, but you're sharing the wealth. The rewards are divided among all the participants in the pool based on the amount of computational power they contributed. Now, if you're not trying to build a full-on mining rig in your basement, cloud mining might be your jam. Cloud mining is a way to mine cryptocurrency without having to deal with the hardware and maintenance yourself. This is where you basically rent computing power from a company that has massive mining farms. These companies handle all the technical aspects, from setting up the hardware to maintaining it so you can focus on earning rewards. You're essentially paying for a piece of their mining operation and getting a share of the profits. It's a convenient option for those who want to get into mining without the hassle of managing equipment. It's the easiest way to get started, but it usually comes with fees. These fees can eat into your profits, so it's important to do your research and choose a reputable cloud mining provider. Think of these mining methods like choosing your difficulty setting in a game. Each method has its own level of complexity and potential rewards. Solo mining is hardcore mode, pool mining is more like playing co-op, and cloud mining? That's easy mode, perfect for beginners. So whether you're a lone wolf, a team player, or just looking for an easy way to get started, there's a mining method out there for you. So, you're ready to start mining? Well, before you dive headfirst into the world of crypto mining, there are a few things you need to know and prepare for. It's not just about plugging in some hardware and watching the money roll in. There's a bit more to it than that. Before you quit your day job, let's talk about what you'll actually need. First and foremost, you need to understand that mining isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires a significant investment of both time and money, so let's break down the essentials. The heavy lifter in the crypto mining world is your hardware. This is the backbone of your mining operation. Without the right hardware, you're not going to get very far. Back in the day, you could mine Bitcoin with a decent CPU, but now you're going to need a powerful graphics card, or GPU. The landscape has changed dramatically and the competition is fierce. We're talking about GPUs specifically designed for mining, like the ones from NVIDIA or AMD. These GPUs are built to handle the intense computational demands of mining. 
Of course, you'll need a computer to connect everything to. This computer will act as the central hub for your mining operations. It doesn't have to be a top-of-the-line gaming rig, but it needs enough RAM and storage to handle the mining software. A mid-tier setup should suffice, but make sure it's reliable and can run 24 7 without issues. Speaking of software, you'll need to choose a mining program that supports the coin you want to mine. This software will manage your hardware and connect you to the blockchain network. Some popular options include NiceHash, CG Miner, and Easy Miner. Each of these programs has its own strengths and weaknesses, so do your research to find the one that best suits your needs. Now here's the thing most people don't tell you about mining. Electricity costs. Mining is incredibly power-hungry, and those electricity bills can add up quickly. Mining crypto can be power-hungry, and depending on where you live, those electricity bills can eat into your profits faster than you can say blockchain. It's crucial to factor in these costs when calculating your potential earnings. Before you even think about buying hardware, use an online mining calculator to estimate your potential earnings based on your electricity rates and the coin you want to mine. These calculators can give you a realistic picture of what to expect. Trust me, it's better to be pleasantly surprised than unpleasantly shocked when that energy bill arrives. So, do your homework, plan accordingly, and happy mining. Okay, let's talk digital gold, shall we? Not all cryptocurrencies are created equal, and some are way more profitable to mine than others. In 2025, the crypto landscape is always evolving, but some coins consistently stay at the top of the mining profitability list. Ethereum, even after its move to proof-of-stake, still has opportunities for miners through Layer 2 solutions and sidechains. Then you've got coins like Ravencoin, designed to be ASIC-resistant, which means it's more accessible to mine with GPUs. Monero, known for its privacy features, is another popular choice for miners looking for consistent profits. But remember, profitability can change quickly in the crypto world. Factors like coin price volatility, mining difficulty, and even the weather affecting electricity costs can impact your earnings. That's why it's crucial to do your research, stay updated on market trends, and maybe even diversify your mining portfolio by mining multiple coins simultaneously. Think of it like diversifying your investment portfolio, but instead of stocks and bonds, you've got digital coins. All right, let's get real for a second. Crypto mining can be a fascinating and potentially lucrative endeavor, but it's not all passive income and Lambos. There's a lot more to it than just setting up a rig and watching the money roll in. Crypto mining can be a lucrative endeavor, but it's not all passive income and Lambos. The reality is, like any worthwhile pursuit, it comes with its own set of challenges and obstacles that need to be navigated. Like any worthwhile pursuit, it comes with its own set of challenges. You have to be prepared to put in the time, effort and resources to make it work. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme, despite what some might think. First up, the elephant in the room market volatility. The crypto market is notoriously unpredictable, with prices that can skyrocket one day and plummet the next. This kind of volatility can make it difficult to predict your earnings and plan your strategy. Crypto prices are like roller coasters. They go up, they go down, and sometimes they do loop-de-loops you weren't prepared for. This means you need to be constantly vigilant and ready to adapt to changing market conditions. What's profitable to mine today might not be tomorrow, so be ready to adapt and adjust your strategy. This requires a deep understanding of the market and the ability to pivot quickly when necessary. Then there's the ever-increasing mining difficulty. As more miners join the network, the complexity of the mathematical problems increases, making it harder to earn those rewards. This means you need to constantly upgrade your hardware to stay competitive. As more miners join the network, the complexity of the mathematical problems increases, making it harder to earn those rewards. It's like a never-ending game of catch-up, requiring you to constantly upgrade your hardware or join larger mining pools to stay competitive. It's like a never-ending game of catch-up, requiring you to constantly upgrade your hardware or join larger mining pools to stay competitive. This can be both time-consuming and expensive, and it's something that every miner needs to be prepared for. And let's not forget about the environmental impact. Crypto mining, especially proof-of-work mining, can consume a significant amount of energy. This has led to concerns about the sustainability of the practice and its impact on the environment. 
Crypto mining, especially proof of work mining, can consume a significant amount of energy. This has led to concerns about the sustainability of the practice and its impact on the environment. It's something that every responsible miner needs to consider. While some miners are transitioning to renewable energy sources, it's still a valid concern and something to be mindful of. The shift to greener energy solutions is a positive step, but it's not a complete solution to the problem. But hey, challenges breed innovation, right? The crypto world is constantly evolving with new technologies and solutions emerging all the time. This means there's always an opportunity to improve and innovate. The crypto world is constantly evolving with new technologies and solutions emerging all the time. This means there's always an opportunity to improve and innovate. Staying ahead of the curve and being open to new ideas is key to success in this field. So stay informed, stay adaptable and remember, the best miners are the ones who can weather the storms and come out on top. It's a challenging journey, but for those who are willing to put in the work, the rewards can be well worth it. So there you have it, your crash course in cryptocurrency mining for 2025. We've covered the different mining methods, the essential gear, the most profitable coins, and even the challenges you might face. Remember, the crypto world is constantly evolving, so stay curious, do your research, and never stop learning. Whether you're a seasoned tech enthusiast or just starting your crypto journey, there's always something new to discover. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more crypto tips, tricks, and updates. And as always, thanks for watching.